I'm not looking past Chisora first, but if I did fight the Klitschko's, I would, um, I'd go out there and get stuck right into them, to be honest. It's not new to me. I work hard, so that's just, that's just in my nature to work hard. Tyson Fury against Anthony Joshua. A fight of the century. That's how fans call this fight. In this video, we will overview fighters' skills, abilities, and characteristics. Looks quite erratic as he moves back, though, as he tries to flick that jab from low. Welcome back to All Day Boxing. Please don't forget to press like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. Well, I've been waiting for about six months for this, and um, really looking forward to it. Tyson Fury made his debut in 2008 at the age of 20, where he defeated his opponent in the first round with a combination to head and body. Oh, left hand goes in. He then stormed another six fights in less than seven months, where he knocked out all of his opponents within four rounds. How tough is this going to be for you? Um, Matthew, all this experience, whatever, but um, so are the rest of them have been, and I handled them okay, so it shouldn't be a any reason why I can't handle Matthew as well. I think he's going to do well to get through this opening round. But if you're going to walk into the firing line, you're going to get nailed. And that's exactly what's happened. What did he expect? Right now, Fury stands with a total of 31 fights and one against Deontay Wilder in February of 2020. Away from the ropes. He does not look good. Right hand. He does not look good. It's team up. The corner's in. And this one is over. Tyson Fury has become the new WBC in a brilliant performance, Fury dominated Deontay Wilder and claimed the WBC heavyweight belt. Tyson Fury became the first heavyweight in history to have held the WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO, and the Ring Magazine titles. Here's an interesting fact. When Tyson Fury was born, he weighed only one pound. Doctors believed that his chances of survival were incredibly low. Joshua, and yes, he did a lot of work and maybe emptied some of the tank. Some great shots here from Joshua. Let's have a look at the work. I mean, lovely left up, lovely right hand. Klitschko, Klitschko using his experience. Lovely, but there's a right hand from Klitschko. Anthony Joshua started boxing at the age of 18 when his cousin suggested to try it out. Many promoters saw Joshua as a future heavyweight champion. He was even offered 50,000 pounds to turn professional, but instead he focused to secure a spot in the 2012 Olympics. I mean, I heard you were kicking yourself afterwards that you didn't get the gold. You heard that, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was upset. Man. It's not, I don't think it's, a, it is good, but it's not the same winning a silver. It's not the same winning a silver medal when you have a chance at gold. He made a spectacular appearance and won a gold medal. Good double right hand. As an amateur, Joshua held a record of 40 and 3. Anthony Joshua stands with one loss and 23 wins. Here's another interesting fact. Joshua once defeated an Olympic runner in a race. Both of these fighters are competitive. They are top players in the game. Both of these guys are technically and fundamentally good both fast and strong. It's hard to say who would dominate this fight, but the end of the fight would be spectacular, despite the winner. That's why he's trying to be more aggressive. There's a right hand by Fury. Fury coming forward. Fury pressing the action. There's a shot, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Tremendous shot. Got him here in trouble. Joshua's trying to finish it. Right down. Now, first, let's go. When it comes to technique, Tyson Fury has a spectacular and unpredictable style. He can fight on the inside, outside, he can outbox and counter. Compared to Anthony Joshua, Fury lacks power for a heavyweight, but overcomes it with speed and mobility. Would be the biggest win. A right hand, it might have staggered Wilder. Fury going on the attack. Wilder is exhausted. Fury down goes Wilder again. His jab is one of the best in the division. Combined with good boxing skills, incredible movement, and his awkward style, it makes him an amazing boxer. He needs to go down to the body. That's exactly how he broke him down. Nice shot right there, but he's hand right now. Joshua owns incredible power. All of his punches are very hard. 
He strikes direct punches and doesn't make any unnecessary moves. He's constantly put pressure for his opponents looking for open opportunities to strike. He throws punches from close enough to avoid leaving himself open by throwing them from too far. Tyson Fury owns an incredible speed when it comes to defense. He makes his opponents look overwhelmed when he constantly skips their punches. Uppercut, spitting a guard. Schwartz trying his best. Look at Fury! Joshua most of the time keeps his right hand to the side of his face to avoid left hooks landing from a distance. Tyson Fury has an incredible ability to change stances throughout the fight, which is another big weapon in his baggage. Only very few boxers have the ability to switch and hit effectively. Nevertheless, Fury knows how to control the distance. Constant head and upper body movements give him a big advantage. Very entertaining oh, ring walks. Oh. A right hand! Wilder. Joshua has an incredibly strong and explosive power in his punches. He manages to maintain the position in the center of the ring and forces the opponent to move back. He has a traditional European stand style. He always moves forward, only moving backwards to skip the shots. Tyson Fury has a big height advantage. His height reaches 6 foot 9, while Joshua 6 foot 6. Fury's dad said that boxing promoter Eddie Hearn wants Tyson Fury to agree to face Anthony Joshua, which would definitely be one of the most significant heavyweight boxing showdowns in history. According to Fury's dad, this fight is worth half a billion, otherwise it's not going to happen. In other words, Tyson Fury isn't going to sell himself cheap anymore. Before this fight happens, Joshua will face Bulgarian fighter Kubrat Pulev, while Tyson Fury will fight Deontay Wilder for the third time, which means Joshua and Fury could meet around December 2020. Both fighters are looking forward to making this fight happen. They've been through everything already, and both of them wants to be undisputed, and this is the chance for boxing to have one of those legacy moments that they will never ever get the opportunity to have again. Anthony Joshua's technical skills could give a threat to the Gypsy King. AJ's defense and fight IQ is great as well. He knows when to pick shots. Tyson Fury will most likely try to frustrate AJ with his unpredictable jabs. In this case, Joshua most likely will try to close the gap whenever possible. Missed with an uppercut, landed with a left, fires a right to the body, and just misses with a big left hook upstairs. Joshua much more aggressive with his power. You know, the questions going into this fight, you're telling Klitschko, you're letting him get brave. On the other hand, Tyson Fury is a master at a distance. During the Deontay Wilder fight, Fury noticed Deontay's weakness that he couldn't fight on the back foot. What a jab, and here comes Fury. Yeah. Fury swarming Wilder. Oh. Fury looking for the finish. Fury wants to erase the memories of that draw. Side on some of those punches. Both have landed on, on another right hand land by Tyson Fury. Fury. And you, Tyson Fury. A right hand by Fury, or for a Wilder. Tyson capitalized on this and won the fight in round seven. It's over! Tyson Fury has become the new WBC heavyweight. Both of these guys have fought top class fighters, including Ukrainian former professional boxer Vladimir Klitschko. Two spectacular champions are a perfect example of hard work, dedication, and self confidence. There is no doubt that this fight will be one of the top fights in history. To work on the Baron Capontier, a truly great fighter. Round four, the Manassa Morgan. Both of these athletes have impregnable skills, abilities, and characteristics. Um, if you're going off other people who he's fought, then you can go on all night, but he hasn't fought Tyson Fury yet, and um, he doesn't pose no threat to me. Make an argument with him anyway, but he says he's never been on the floor. Boxing is about winning in a sporting world, just like any other business is about winning in the commercial world. Any athlete wants to win, trains to win, and boxes to win. They never stop learning. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. 
press like on the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let us know in the comments what is your opinion about this fight. See you in the next video.